Hello everybody. Due to popular requests from the greatest fans on earth, that would be you, we have decided to push back the release of Mr. Peabody and Sherman movie mistakes. But don't worry, it's coming out very soon. When? So without any further delay, here is Minions Movie Mistakes, brought to you in HD. Minions was released July 10th, 2015 and is a spin-off of the ever-popular Despicable Me. Minions was produced on a budget of $74 million. Show me the money! But easily made up that amount on opening weekend by raking in $115 million. So without any further delay, here's Minions Movie Mistakes. The original SS Francis funnel should only be red and black, but you'll notice here in the movie that it's black and white. For mistake number two, check out the cool yellow and red lunchbox. <laughs> While we watch the minions get in the car, you'll notice that the lunchbox is now missing. Glad we came along before some weirdo. <laughs> oh, you too! Growing uh, uh. For mistake number three, we're focusing on the knife and the position of the apple. But boy like creatures need their strength. <laughs> If you're paying close attention like we were, you'll notice that the knife handle changes position, so does the apple. Okay. Uh, Heck yeah! The movie setting is in the year 1968, but New York City didn't introduce personalized license plates until 1977. All right, here we go. It's time for an Easter egg. You may not have noticed it, but Gru from Despicable Me makes a cameo at VillainCon. Any evil talent? What about you? Any evil talents? Typewriter? Check. Pens and pencils? Check. Wait, I think she's missing tape. I don't know who put it there, but I'm sure glad they did. I'm pretty sure she's gonna need it. La, 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 la. Eh? That's not evil or a talent. Are you ready? This Easter egg involves the guy sitting on the row right in front of the minions. Who does he look like? Is that Gargamel from the Smurfs? I hate Smurfs. I'll get you. I'll get all of you if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> From our vantage point, it appears that the woman sitting behind the minions is wearing shorts. Of working for the greatest supervillain of all time? Yeah! So we're gonna chalk it up to another mistake, cause it looks like later on she switched the pants. <laughs> well, they failed their mission. So the wolf minions must have a whole nother level of pain threshold. This one gets shot by six arrows and it seems to not phase him. Huffed and puffed, and she blew them off the face of the earth. But shot by six arrows or not, consistent with movie magic, the arrows are now gone. Hello, uh, three, please. You're not allowed in without an adult. For mistake number eight, we're focusing on currency. The movie was set in 1968, but the United Kingdom didn't adopt the decimal system until 1971. Scram, hooligans! Oh, uh, 
Mistake number nine. Aren't those American style fire hydrants? United Kingdom style fire hydrants look like this. <laughs> For mistake number 10, we're amazed at how quickly it goes from day to night. See what I mean? How quickly time flies. Again with the American fire hydrants. Can we not get this right? <laughs> I am fairly certain he's gonna regret smashing up that guitar later. <laughs> And finally, Kevin! But what I'm amazed at is how quickly the cleanup crew works over there. Wow, the guitar is gone. Si, Anakina. You are a hero of the highest order. So what'd you think of our video? What would you like to see next? Let us know the answer to both of these questions in the comment section below. And for more weekly movie mistakes, remember to subscribe to our channel. We'd like to give a special thank you to all our super fans. Thanks for all the positive encouragement. Keep it up.